So thank you for watching. You can follow me if you have an Instagram on Instagram. Clearly, that is redundant. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be an Ask Bad Frequently Asked Questions and Tips video. So if you're interested in knowing the nicks and the crannies of the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, then stay tuned and thank you for watching. Oh, the lighting. Make it flawless. Make it flawless. <laughs> I'm recording on my iPhone, so excuse the quality, but as you know, my camera is dead. I have a list of things to go over so I can kind of stay on track. So that this doesn't turn out to be a 14 minute video of me just rambling on and on because that can easily happen. I, I like to talk a lot. To begin with, the ASVAB stands for the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, which as it says, is a test to kind of gauge your overall aptitude and your understanding of a few different subjects. The scores of the ASVAB aren't in like a pass-fail kind of way, like how, you know, in high school you have tests and you pass it with like 79 is a C, 80 is this, this, that, and the other. It's based on percentile points, which basically means whatever score you get it's a percentile that you're in if you get a 55 you're in the 55th percentile or you know 60 60 percentile so forth and so forth so it just kind of gauges you and puts you in a category to say that you scored better than such and such people that took the ASVAB. The ASVAB has 10 different sections and those sections are general science, arithmetic reasoning, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, mathematic knowledge, electronics information, automotive shop info, mechanical comprehension, assembling objects, and verbal expression which is a combination of word knowledge and paragraph comprehension. Each section is timed so make sure that you, if you get stuck, use the the answers that they give you to kind of plug it in to see what works and move on do not spend too much time on a question because you will find yourself running out of time with like 15 questions left and you do not want that to happen i'm um, a little background info on my asvab experience um i first took my asvab in eighth grade because the school that i was going to was a magnet program and they offered it however my scores were obsolete and i couldn't use them now because it's been so long ago so i had to take it again um, with that being said if you have taken it previously, I advise you to take it again, especially if your recruiter, you know, offers it for free, which they should. I haven't heard anybody paying for it, but um, definitely take it again. Even if you took it a few months ago and you have the opportunity to do it again, go for it because you never know what your scores might be for the second time. And I believe your recruiter should work with you to use your highest score or at least use the composite of your scores, like, you know, the, from the highest sections that you're scoring. So give it a second chance because you might improve your scores. You might, you know, know how to work things a little bit differently. So take it again if you've taken it before. Before the test, um, studying is optional. I didn't study whatsoever. And after two tests, I just like to go in with my gut feeling and use common sense. And I did fairly well, not to brag or anything. I got an 81, which means that I, I'm in the 81th percentile. Um, whatever, whatever. Um, you know, you can grab one of the ASVAB for Dummies books or, you know, go online to, you know, Google and type in, you know, free ASVAB practice questions or, you know, guides to the ASVAB. You can find many different resources online for free of charge. Personally, I know that I'm not going into anything in the mechanics field, the automotive field, or anything like that. So I didn't really worry about those sections too much because I know that the other sections that I was strong in, like general science, math, uh, English comprehension, and things like that, would help me bring my percentile score up. So I didn't really worry about those. And when I was taking it, I didn't know anything in the sections. I just kind of used the answers provided to help me answer the question and common sense. I didn't know the terminology of a mechanic. I was quite, you know, just blinded by it, but I just used my resources and kind of problem solved a little bit which can be a tip for you if you know that you're not going to be you know working on airplanes or anything like that or you know fixing generators and doing stuff with your hands then don't worry about those sections and don't stress yourself out trying to study for them and trying to learn about the world of mechanics and the world of cars because you're just going to freak yourself out and then you're going to get upset with yourself when you don't know the information that's on those sections so stick to your strong points that's the tip that I'm gonna give you. Stick to your strong points. If you love math, go in there thinking that you're gonna ace that math section and you're gonna answer every problem because I kind of didn't even do that. <laughs> there were some problems that I just couldn't even answer because I didn't understand what it was. I was like, what is this? But that's okay because you can use the answers that they give you to kind of work your way backwards. And that's one of the things that the ASVAB is testing you to see if you can do is to problem solve because you're gonna, in the Air Force, you're gonna run into problems that you haven't been taught how to handle. You're gonna run into things in general life that somebody didn't sit you down and say, 
if you run into this problem you fix it like this like life does not have a book of questions and a book of solutions sometimes you're gonna have to put your common sense in there and your gut feeling to get through it and that's one of the things that is definitely heavy necessarily needed <laughs> and that's one of the things that is definitely needed to pass the ASVAB or not pass but you know to score high in the ASVAB is your sense of problem solving so don't worry if you don't know like if you read a question Susan has 17 apples and she gives three to her friend and her friend divides them by 18 people what is the circumference of the sun and you're just like what what I'm so confused don't worry use the answers if they're like this 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 go with your gut feeling because nine times out of the ten you're gonna know what's right so um, the day of the test make sure you get a lot of rest 90% of the time spent taking your ASVAB is actually not going to be spent taking your ASVAB. What I mean by that was, um, me personally, I had to wait a very, very long time to take it. I got to the facility on time. Make sure you always arrive early. They say be at you know the center at 6. Get there at 545 because you never know what's going to happen. In my case, once I arrived there, they did not have my name on the roster even though I had registered my recruiter had sent my information down there they had just made a mistake because a holiday had just passed and somebody didn't gather all the names that were submitted before the holiday and it was a big mess so make sure that you get there beyond the time so that anything like that or any problems that may arise you have time to fix it before your actual test starts um, I had to wait for my name to be called I then had to wait I just smacked I then had to wait in line uh, to go into the room, which took the absolute longest time. There was about maybe 30 of us. There won't be too many people because, you know, there's in a computer room and you can't have that many people in there. But, um, but yeah, uh, they called us two by two and then there was one administrator and he had to personally log you into the computer and that took forever. I was the second to last in line. So I waited for about two hours and 15 minutes before I actually took my test. And then my test took me about, I wanna say roughly two hours. I can't exactly remember, but I know that I got there at six and I didn't leave until almost 10 o'clock. So definitely make sure you wear comfortable shoes just in case you have to wait in line. Wear comfortable clothes. Ladies, I know you wanna be you know, fashionable, tight clothing, show off your curves. Guys, you wanna be swagalicious, but wear something comfortable. It's not the time to start, but they're gonna be kind of military-like you know, with the attention and silence and walk straight lines. So you're gonna be out of your comfort zone. Wear something comfortable that is gonna save you. Make sure you drink a lot of water about four hours before your test. You don't have to use the restroom while you're taking your test, but then again, you don't want dry mouth because that's one of the worst feelings ever to be sitting in front of a computer and just like, water, water. No, you're going to hate yourself for that. So make sure you eat before so that you can not be hungry. You don't want your mind to be distracted from the test. You want to be completely focused and indulged into the ASVAB. But don't like go to a buffet and gorge out and then get a stomach ache and sitting there like tapping your foot because once you leave, or at least in my facility, once you left, you could not return to your test. So that means no restroom trips, no nothing because they automatically assume the worst and they think you're going to be cheating. Be patient. Um, if your computer freezes, don't freak out. They can always fix everything. Um, if your computer explodes and catches on fire, don't freak out. The person next to you is weird and you're just like, oh my God, like if they're just like whispering to themselves or ticking, be patient. You know, everybody's different. You're gonna run into a lot of different people that is going to be out of your control. Just try to detach yourself from your surroundings. Don't get distracted. And for the love of life, don't look like this if you're thinking think like this or think with your eyes closed or think somewhere in this general area right here think right here don't catch yourself like dazing like this or dazing like this or dazing like this because they automatically assume the worst that you are trying to copy off your neighbor or you're cheating or you have some type of device on you and you don't want to be disqualified you know forced to leave the building because of a misunderstanding so just make sure that you stay in your lane and just vibe <laughs> and you'll do great. Honestly, it's not a hard test. You will do phenomenal. If you've gotten through elementary school, middle school, high school, if you're still in high school, you'll definitely do great because that information is still fresh in your mind. Me, on the other hand, I kind of took it after high school, so I'm like, ah, two plus two is 
five, you know, but if you're still in school, you're gonna do phenomenal. You're gonna be on your toes, you're gonna be quick, alert, you're gonna do awesome. So do not worry about the ASVAB. It's as intimidating as it sounds. It's a very friendly test, and it's just going to kind of gauge who you are, kind of what your interests are as well, but more so how you can answer problems under a time situation and not freak out. It's not about answering everything right. That's not the point. The point is about how you take the test. So, um, yeah, as I said before, I scored an 81, which is good. It's very good. And you're gonna do even better than that. You're probably gonna score like, score like a 90 or a 99. You're gonna break the world record. You're gonna be in the Guinness Book of World Records for a highest ASVAB score. So don't front, don't freak out. You're gonna be phenomenal. <laughs> so don't worry, you're gonna be awesome. And let me know how it went for you. I would love to hear how taking the ASVAB and your experience was. If you were nervous before, you know, if you went in there like, yeah, I got this. And you know, you nailed it as well. You're gonna be awesome. Once again, thank you for watching this video. I hope that these tips can help you and just kind of ease your mind about this test because it is kind of like a secretive test and we can't talk about it. But yeah, I'm, I want to spill the details. Um, if you want me to kind of go into detail about each section, leave a comment down below and I'll definitely do that. Even though it's been a while, I can't remember what each section was and I can't help you on the mechanic automotive section because I'm just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. But, I can definitely help with like general science and things like that. If you have an Instagram, you can follow me at mercy underscore Parker. And I will follow you guys back. I'd love to see who's watching my videos. So thank you. Have a good day. You're going to do awesome on the ass map. Yeah. All right, let me go. Hmm.